Are you guys heckin' hearing this? This is heckin' beautiful. I love this music. Hello everyone, face of here, welcome to a stream. We're gonna be playing a game called Raccoon. Raccoon, something like that. What's up, Gups? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the doggy treaty seagull. Starting off the stream off great for the doggos. Uh, let's see. This game is acting very strangely. Um, it wants to run in 640 by 380 or whatever. So it's very tiny on my screen. I can maximize it. But when I do, it fucks up all my other windows over here. And I've tried to put them in uh, in orientation. So when they do get fucked up, they're in a way that works. But no orientation it does work. So please let me know. Like right now, the game is full screen to the best of its ability. Um, but when I actually full screen it on my end so I can play it, all my stuff moves over there. Oh, <gasps> it worked that time. I'm not going to ask questions. It's fine because before it was either OBS got hidden or chat got hidden or something else I needed got hidden. So I see OBS chat bots cut off. Some other stuff is cut off. I don't care, but I see full chat. Fantastic. So let's roll with that. All right. What's going on, Birch? I don't know why we didn't hear your sound effect, but yeah, uh, dude, I was normally going to have a normal intro music you know, just from royalty free stuff. So I kind of hope this is royalty free. I'm guessing not, but uh, for, oh, for, I forget her name. Shigiri something. I don't, I don't remember her name, but all her music is fantastic. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to play this music for the intro because it's so stinking pretty. How's it going, Burge? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I, something something's goofy with the the bot like just doing sounds and then other times not like we heard we heard gups come in so we should be hearing you i don't know bot after its recent update has been acting very goofy so i don't know but anyways i hope you all signed your permission slips or got them signed because from what i understand this is a field strip game it, um it's back to uh if you guys were here for the RPG Maker games that we played before, like Finding Paradise and A Bird Story. Whoa! Everything moved again! I didn't touch anything that time. Stop changing my stuff. Behave. Um, so... And those games were uh, pretty field strip heavy, so... I'm guessing this is going to be very similar. Um, and it's... Every time I play one of these games, it makes me want to get RPG Maker, because it's so good amount of support and stuff that you can you can make it you can actually make a game they're not one of those gimmicky ones where you think you can make a game and then it turns out it's like oh well they stole my money and it doesn't have the features i wanted rpg maker is freaking in depth they have some crazy stuff you got internet back two hours ago uh oh what happened to your internets did the storm knock it out that looked like the rest of the wild stuff arrow keys not the numpad okay space and enter confirm okay so no mouse okay um space or enter confirm interact with people examine objects escape cancel menu q talk with mom when she's with you okay interesting okay keyboard game i am starting in a hospital i love i have a little origami samurai hat yeah bounce your squid it's a toaster what's going on my dude you got taken out by your tree in the backyard what happened to your tree Hello, friend. Holy crap. All right. Who's there? I love my little samurai hat. It looks like there's... Uh, I don't know if you guys... Can see. Yeah, the little jar in the bottom right has an X. It looks like an X symbol on a, a joystick. Ooh, who are you? Yami. Jada is staring at some... What are you staring at, dog? You're freaking me out. She only stares at like that. When she sees a spider, so I'm freaking out. What do you see? You're freaking me out, dog. She's not even looking at me, talking to her. The wind took it out. Jeez, dude. I'm glad you got your stuff. I'm glad your power didn't go out or something from that, because that'd be scary. Hey. How'd you get in here? 
Your door's unlocked, man. Oh! Who are you? I'm Yami. I live across the hall. In the hospital? Did you just move in or something? Nah. I think I got here around the same time as you. They never let me out of my room. Oh, I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I sneak out at night when the wind nurses aren't watching. <laughs> promise you won't tell anyone I'm here, okay? I promise. So how long are you in here for? I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. Same here. It gets really boring sometimes. I know what you mean. Someone's coming. Sorry, man. I gotta go. Okay. I hope he's gonna be a friend. So it's just the branch that knocked it? Okay. Still, I'm glad you guys are safe. Didn't lose power during all the freezes. That'd be scary. I don't know. Cut from a dog making my arm bleed. Hey, wait! Yeah? Maybe I could come visit you sometime. If it's not as boring... <laughs> when there's two. It's not as boring when there's two. Don't be able to get into my room. I'm not even supposed to be... Supposed to leave, remember? Oh, yeah. But don't worry. I'll come visit you again. Okay. I'm guessing this person is like a ghost. I promise. Yummy! Also, I can't see the audio levels because stuff's getting covered in OBS, so please let me know if stuff sounds too loud or something. Where'd you go? Also, my name is Boy. Keyboard time. And me. Phone call? Door is locked. There's a sign on the door. Read it? Yes. Storage area 5B. Patients not allowed beyond this point. Okay. Hello? Hello? Oh, we gotta get a voice for mom. Not that. Oops. Crap. I picked the wrong one. Hold on. Uh... I want to make sure that... Pitch isn't all jacked up. Hello, dear. It's mom. Should I get like a a megaphone? Um, whoa. Does that even work? I can't even hear that. Hello. Hello. That's weird. Like that got super quiet. Over the megaphone. That's very weird. Is there a bug? Yeah, because the robot works fine. It's just real quiet. Cartoon is fine. Megaphone's just real quiet. Don't understand. Okay, whatever. We'll just. Hello, dear. It's mom. Mom. Just wanted to let you know that my train was delayed, so I'm going to be a bit late. Oh. Okay. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. It's okay, mom. I understand. But I'm off work this week, and I dropped off your little brother at grandma's. So we'll be able to spend lots of time together. We can play games. I'll read to you. It'll be like our own little party. Oh, this is going to be sad. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you, too. Oh, boy. Hello, nurse person. Notice me, Sarah. Right, Yeti, Notice dude. Me. Well, well. Um, we need a different voice for here. Well, well. I see you're wide awake and walking around. No one told me I couldn't walk around. Ha! Okay, wise guy. I've got a couple things to tell you. First of all, some good news. Your tests have come back and it turns out things are looking pretty good. In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. Oh, yeah. You mean... I get to leave my room? Indeed. Yes! 
Not so fast. There's something else I need to talk to you about. This morning, the cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. Why would you tell me that? Since the wing was all locked up last night, we believe the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So can you take him over to check and see if any of your belongings were stolen? Okay. Oh, over here? Did you guys see the input lag? Oh no! It's gone! Okay, my first thing, whatever I looked at, is gone. Doc Doctor, they took it! They took Requin. Okay, it's not... That's not my name. What did they take? Requin. It's my favorite book in the whole world! It's a book. I thought it was gonna be like a teddy bear. My mom reads it to me every night. It's very special. Are you completely sure that you didn't just misplace it? I'm sure! After mom finishes reading, she always puts it back in the same place. It's our tradition. Okay, calm down. What did your book look like? Uh, it has a brown cover. It looks very old. Uh, and there's a class made of silver with a hole for a key. Silver class, okay. I guess that explains why they take a childish story or children's storybook. Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. I'm gonna be so sad. Oh. You know what? 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 There, I forgot to turn off the voice thing. Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? Who knows? Maybe someone will be able to get you your book back. Aw, she's nice. Take care now. I'll be back to check on you in a bit. Goodbye. I don't know her name. Okay, what is this then? It's... I'm patient 237, maybe? Chemeterex... Chemeterex... Disodium... Carboplatinin... Okay. Treatment guide. No, I want to read that. It says down like I can read it, but... Maybe not. Another hat! An origami hat. Okay, that's it. What about this plant? A house plant that looks like it could use some water. Oh, let's water the house plant. Can I water it? I'm not hooked up to this IV. IV bag for the saline solution. Okay. Has anyone been in here? Whoa, I can just go through the beds. Open the cabinet? Sure. The cabinet is empty. All right, I'm gonna open my cabinet. Push the call button. No. Bathroom? Bathroom. And a little light. Fill the sink with water. Yes. sink is filled with water. Oh! Can I... Mirror? Alright, I need to... Um... I want to water this plant. Give. Hmm, maybe not. I'm gonna get in trouble if I leave this filled. Oops, I can't empty it. It's fine. Where am I? Oh, I'm over there. Oh! My doctor. How's your detective work coming along? Find any good leads? I have not. I'm sorry. Uh, can I use this? No. It's a vending machine! Let's get us a snack! A semi-functional vending machine. What would you like to buy? Hot coffee restocking soon. Peanut choo choos. Yes. Please deposit 10 gil. Damn it. Hello. Now, where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. You are not a very. Oh, it gives the illusion that I'm laying in the bed. That's why you can walk through them. That's funny. I'm getting input lag just by typing with this game. It's weird. 
Did you call me? Yeah. Apparently, the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Can you do anything about it? I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I don't even know how to fix the toilet. Well, someone has to do it. You know, we're short-staffed. Fine, I'll go see if I can dig up some supplies. Do I follow him? This guy's painting a pig. Quit bugging me, kid. I've got a lot of work to do. And my stomach is growling. Phew, I wouldn't give her a peanut choo-choo. I tried to buy one. Give me some money. Oh boy, there's a lot of people in there. We'll go in there in a second. Hello, Dr. Man. Is this a, an examination room? I like their bear token thing on their hair. Hello, small child. What brings you to the blood draw station? Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Platelets? Perpetual motion machines? I like this person already. Ahem. What can I help you with? What's up? Sometimes I like to compliment things like, why are there only, or contemplate, contemplate things like, why are there only two egg laying mammals in the world? I'm sure many species could benefit from egg laying eggs. But so far, only the platinus and the echidna families have hopped on that bandwagon. Why, if I could lay eggs, I'd be laying eggs all the time. <laughs> uh, yep. What can I help you with? Did you hear about the thief? I should do the voice. Did you hear about the thief? Come here, I'll let you out a little secret. Have you noticed anything strange about the hospital? Don't freak me out. Um, not really. A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. And I, last night, I saw someone go into the closet south of Tony's room, but... I was told that closet has been locked since before I even started working here. I'm pretty sure there were no staff. What did they look like? I only saw them out of the corner of my eye. And for but a second, so unfortunately, I could not say. What can I help you with? Tell me about folks here. Who would you like to know about? Panky, just because of the name. The children love Ch Chef Panky. If he notices someone is having a bad day, he'll give them ice cream. Hell yeah, I can go for some ice cream. Ah, ice cream. Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius! What do you like to know about? Uh, Kisaburo. I knew Kisaburo back before the his mind started going. We spoke often. It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. What do you mean? Well, for example, recently the staff found him outside digging in the mud again. He was on his hands and knees making piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. Oh man. But hey, maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe he was looking for buried treasure. I like this guy. He's funny. I want to know about Danielle. Danielle is the purple-haired girl who hangs out in the cafeteria. She sews the most marvelous plushies for the patients here. Peace. Hello. I like your hair. Her name is Cora. Hey there. What's up? Hey, I don't think we, we formally met. I'm Cora. It's probably pretty easy to remember me because I'm the only girl in the... In my grade with a pink mohawk. She's pretty dope. Whoa, cool. And don't worry, my mom knows. She's the one who let me do it. Anyways, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Cora. Oh, hey, some of my friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here in the hospital. Like what? I'll have more details later. But if you find anything cool and want to donate, come talk to me. Okay. I know a lot of folks feel powerless when they have to stay here. But here's the way I see it. No one knows how much time they have in this world. My time could be up in 80 years. Or 8 minutes. Don't freak the kid out. The point is, I'm going to do everything I can to make good use of my time. My precious, you know. Ooh. If I could help just one person here to feel happier, then it'd all be worth it. Uh, did you hear about the thief? Or did you hear about the thief? Dude, yeah. Jeff Panky came out here earlier and he was not happy. 
I guess the thief took a lot of food from the cafeteria kitchen. How the heck did they get into the kitchen? You can't even get there from the cafeteria. Believe me, I've tried. <laughs> tell me about folks here. Uh, tell me about Tony. That's between you and me. I think Tony's hiding something. He acts so grumpy all the time, but he's got this pretty little music box in his room and it guards with his life. Why would a grumpy old dude like that have a sweet little music box? I want to know about Sue. Sue's a sweetheart. But she's obsessed. Obsessed? Yeah. I guess she had to move to the hospital before saying goodbye to her friend. And that's pretty much all she talks about. Tell me about Jackie. Jackie's that guy over there in the blood draw station. He's cool. A little weird. But cool. If you ever need to know anything about technical, he's the guy to ask. So the plumbing thing, maybe? I want to see this painting. A pink cat? Oh. No conversation about it. Hello, doctor. I heard you had a pretty rough day today. You hang in there, all right? You're doing great. Thanks. And talk to this person? Get up. Oh, get up. Nope. Okay, can't talk to them. Uh, do I talk to Jackie about the toilet? I don't know. Let's go to these other rooms. Hello! What the heck do you think you're doing to my room, kid? Get out! Good figures when I want visitors, no one shows up. But I need peace and quiet. Every kid in the world has to come to my room. And where is that nurse with my coffee? All right, he wants coffee. Hello. There's no point in talking to Tony before he's had his coffee. He'll just growl at you like a big angry bear. I heard that, you little prat! See what I mean? <laughs> Broken music box. If you touch that music box, I'll break your hands! Fucking bruh. Treatment guide. Doesn't tell me. These are blood samples. I was right. Okay. You got anything in here? Actually, can I check out this tree? No. You got a book? A book about airplanes. Okay. The door is locked. Okay. What do we got down here? The door is locked. Look at the sign. Keep out. Only authorized personnel will be allowed on this point. Knock, knock. Look at the doorknob. There is an electric electronic device with a passcode entry labeled Closet 5C. However, it doesn't appear to be turned on. Okay. Can I open these? Open the cabinet. Folders filled with medical forms. It looks like there's something beneath the folders. Look underneath. Yes. You found five... I'm amazing at this game. Open the cabinet. The cabinet's empty. Alright, so I found 5G because I'm so good. Alright, maybe I should loot in everyone's lockers. I found a pair of scrubs hanging inside. Okay, I didn't take that. Hey, kick! With the treaty! Take a... Get him. Hello. Really? Hello. Not even a bother to open your mouth? Hey, take a for the treaties. What's going on, Pancake? Open the locker? Yes. A lab coat and a pair of scrubs are hanging inside. It looks like there's something beneath the lab coat. Yes. I found 5G. Oh, I can go buy the thing. I can go buy the thing. I can buy the thing. I'm buying the thing. I'm stealing people's money. I'm a bad kid. I'm the thief. Plot twist. All right, peanut chew. You received peanut chews. Yes. The door is rusted shut. What kind of hospital is this? You find a pair of scrubs hanging inside. Cool. All right. I'm going to give her... She wanted it, right? You want this? I got you a thing. But bug me, kid. I've got a lot to do right now. What do you want to do? Here. You're being a bitch. Wait. You're giving this to me? Wow, thank you. I haven't eaten anything all day. I guess they won't mind if I go take a short break. Oh, I'm going to steal something now. Space! What's going on, my friend? Welcome to the dream. Talking manga collection shop. Manga collection shop? Is that a game? Possible admittance forms. Nice. Patient survey. Which do you want to search? Upper shelf. Assortment of books and pamphlets line the shelves. 
Newspaper clipping sticking out from between two books. Read it, yes. March. Already strapped for resources, hospitals are unable to accommodate new patients. Or she want to search middle shelf. Several years worth of medical journals. Floor cabinet. Folders filled with medical forms. A laminated card is clipped to the back of one of the folders. Yes, read it. Closet 5C passcode. Hey! 1721. Which do you want to search? 1721. 1721. That is that the door over there? No, like collecting manga and how to go about getting best deals for manga collections. I'm collecting. Gotcha. 1721. That was it, right? Everyone remember that. 1721. The toilet in there is broken. Some metal thing is stuck inside. If you have to go, you should probably find a different bathroom. Hey, what are you doing? Um... This is a girl's room, you know. But if you really gotta use the bathroom, come talk to me. Okay. Patient blood samples. Is that a pregnancy test? Thermometer. 138. Anoxic brain injury, coma, respiratory therapy session. How are yours plants doing? Could use some water. Oh, you got flowers. Wow, so many different Wow, so many different marbles. Yeah, I've been collecting for a long time. Oh, she looks sad. What are you so you want to use our bathroom, huh? Well, I I guess. Yeah, I get it. We all gotta get some. Gotta go sometimes. But I can't let just anyone use our bathroom. It's a girl's room, you know. Gosh, it looks like you really gotta go, though. Hmm. Well, how about this? See that jar next to me? Yeah, the one with the marbles? Yup! That's my marble collection. I'm missing some, though. Someone steal it? I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket, and I'm pretty sure some fell out. If you could find me just one, I thought you use our bathroom whenever you want. You think you could do that for me? I'll try my best! Thank you. The last place I was playing was with Danielle in the cafeteria, so you might want to check around there. Thanks. How are you doing today? What's up? My wife's been asleep for months. For months now. But I still talk with her every day, and sometimes I read to her. Did you hear about the thief? Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? I've been told that those areas have long been closed off, even to the staff. But recently I noticed that the, one of the devices has been turned off. That's that one. What about folks? About Sue. On occasion I've had to talk, take Sue back to her room. She has a habit of walking around aimlessly on certain nights. What about Tony? I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long while. It makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. Tell me about Cora. I heard that Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost morale around the hospital. Last I heard, they were calling themselves the Towel Cape Heroes. That's adorable. Okay. So, uh, I found the code. 1721. One right now is supposed to be getting a relaunch. Uh, manga is getting a relaunch because volumes 14 to 17 never got published in US, but supposed to be on the relaunch. Interesting. Hello. Can I go into your bathroom? That door looks suspicious. The door is locked. It appears that there's a tunnel running through here that's been blocked up. The fuck is wrong with this hospital? Perhaps you could get through it if you had the right tools. Oh, you have a coffee. I thought you were smoking. Blood samples. Thermometer. A stack of notes has been stapled together and attached to the inside of the folder. Page one. Based on the results of Kisaburo's brain scan, we believe the must metastases geez, to be the cause of the delirium. It is my recommendation to begin administering antipsychotic medication. Please refer to the list of hallucinations and delusions. 
that sound you hear in the background is mama's breathing. I want to read page two. It's torn. 1021 was found climbing ladder in construction zone 5B. When answered or when questioned, replied that he intended to make a hole in the ceiling. 1028 was found in the yard digging in the mud. Completely responsive when questioned, appeared to be unaware of location time. 11-2, carrying bags of... Who? Is that an orchid? I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you walking around again. Need something? What's up? It seems these days, it's getting harder and harder to find the words. Is that or people just aren't listening? But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I'm ready to go. I just want to make sure I can say the things I need to say before it's too late. Did you hear about the thief? I should be doing the voice for the kid. I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone has been sneaking around here after hours. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria the kitchen. Which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital that we patients don't have access to. But were they crawling through the... What? Were they crawling through the vents? You'd have to be pretty small to fit through there. But no one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think I've lost my mind. Uh, how did you hear about folks around here? I'm not one for gossip. You need... Oh, okay. That's it. See ya. Okay. Do we have one more room? We have one more room. Can I read this? Ah. Cool. Okay. So they're labeled. Knock, knock. The door is locked. Okay. Let's 1721 the crap out of this door over here. Can I weigh myself? Hospital skill. Aw. Excuse me. S excuse you. Okay. I, nothing there. 1721. Although they said this was turned off. The door's locked. Okay. Well, I walked around everywhere. Do I take a nap? No. I'm collecting... Snow White with the red hair. Holy crap, Pancake. That's a lot of manga. Ways of the house husband. <laughs> Princess Jellyfish. Okay. Um. I need to find a marble. I need to go to the cafeteria. How do I go to the cafeteria? I thought that was going to be the, like, exiting the hospital. Open the locker. Yes. It's rusted shut. Who are you? The new patient lounge is still being built. Please come back later. Don't tell me what to do. Cafeteria. Cat! A pile of freshly made fleshy toys. It looks like there's something underneath one of the toys. Check it out. Yes. You found... I got it! No, I got the marble! Look at this kitten! Why is there a kitten in the... I told you you're not supposed to have cats in the hospital! I love her. It's fine. She's seeing AI... She's a seeing eye cat. I fucking love that. My vision is really bad. Get it out of here, Danielle! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Pinky is the worst. Alright, she might be my favorite character already. Hey, kiddo. You need something? Oops. I don't know what I clicked, but... I'm just finishing up a bench of plushies. My goal is to make one for all the patients on the floor. Even old cranky men like Tony and Banky. Ah, I heard that! Good! I love her! Look at that plushie. I want one. Do you hear about the thief? Don't tell anyone I told you this, but... You know how some of the doors around here have those electronic lockbox things on them? I heard that they keep the password somewhere behind the reception desk across from the Kizabura's room. Yeah, I figured it out. What do you think is beyond those doors? You mean you haven't been able to get there? What? No, of course not. I'm just a volunteer. No, I did that one already. No. Ah, crap. 
What did I do? Uh, tell me about the folks here. Oh, I know all about the people here. Tell me about Winston. Have you not noticed Winston's wife doesn't have her wedding band on? Oh. Don't you think that's a little strange? I mean, Winston is still wearing his. Interesting. Tony. No, Tony seems like the biggest grump on the planet, but he... I can tell he's just a bit lonely. I bet if you brought him some coffee, he'd be open up to you a bit. Oh, I know all about... Oh, yeah, yeah, Sue. Sue didn't used to be so poor, but I heard that her father drank a bit too much and gambled away all their savings. Oof. Hey, I want some coffee, dude. I've got a grumpy old man that needs his go juice. This bin is filled with ice cream and other frozen snacks. Magazines, notebooks, and other paper material. Is that a heater? Radiator? Various drinks, yogurt, and fruit cups. Rice bowls and snacks. There are several different kinds of boxed lunches here. Also, is the audio okay for you guys? I can't see the audio thing because it's kind of cut off in OBS. I squeal when reading. You'll get along well with Spurge. <laughs> Sounds good? Okay. Thank you. There are several different kinds of boxed lunches. Alright. Caution, these drinks are hot. Give me coffee. Oh, I spent all my money, though. That I found. Hey there, long time no see, buddy. You hungry? You need something? Did you hear? They finally stocked the vending machine out in the hospital hall with peanut choo-choos. The ship leader wasn't here the other day begging us to do it. Guess it's not just kids that like them, eh? Putting this back on. Did you hear about the thief? Oh yeah, someone came in here and took a bunch of food and drinks. Ain't no way they got in here through the cafeteria. See that metal door up there? Uh, no. It comes down after hours and no one gets through that. I bet the guy somehow got into the backspace. Backspace? Like on my keyboard? Yeah. The network of closed off passageways, half built rooms, storage closets, you know? You're just giving away all this information. The aftermath of. Hell yeah. It's crazy back there. Tell me about the folks. About Danielle. Don't tell her I said this, but Danielle's got a heart of gold. She spends her free time coming in here and sewing toys for all the patients. And really don't tell her I said this. She's a bit of crazy cat lady. Uh, he's gonna be like, he's gonna say good. I heard that. Eh, what can I say? It's true. Eh, it is. That's adorable. Jackie. Jack, Jackie's a smart guy. Sometimes I think he's on another planet, but if there's one thing we can always talk about, it's food. Of course, we have different methods. He's all science, he cooks with his brain. I cook with my heart. That's impressive, that means you can only make one meal. What about Kisaburo? If that Kisaburo comes in here one more time, borrowing my stuff, I swear. Borrowing? Oh yeah. He took all my soup ladles. And for what? Go digging in the mud outside to look for a buried treasure. I feel bad for the guy, though. It's never easy when one starts losing their mind like that. Must be even tougher for his family. Neat. Hello. Sorry, hun. Or sorry, hun. But you know you're not supposed to leave this wing. Tell me what to do. I'm my child. Oh my god, do you have like a, an entire wall full of manga pancake? Jeez. Okay, so I can't go there. Uh, there must be some more door. Wait, I found a marble. Let's go give it to, um, not Cora, that's Cora. Jamie? Is that her name? What's your name, friend? I forgot it. I'm sorry. 
Sue. Any luck? Give Sue the snowy marble. Yes, here you go! Oh, look, she's happy! Ah! You found my snow world! Snow world? Shh. Can you keep a secret? Yeah? These aren't just marbles, you know. They're little worlds. All of these are tiny planets. Oh my god, she's adorable. That's some man in black shit right there. Tiny people living inside. I love her. She's precious. That's why it's so important me, for me to find them all. This swirly white marble is a snow world. It's snowing all the time here. I know that might sound boring, but it's not. Real snowmen live here, and they are always having parties. I changed her voice because she was whispering at, for at first, now I gotta change it back. What kinds? What kinds of parties? Snowman distance party. Or er, er, distance. Snowman dance parties. I love dancing. Me too. Oh. They have pretty lanterns everywhere. Everywhere too. And a blue campfire that feels cold. Oh my god, she has a great imagination. But if we went there, we wouldn't freeze. Snowman make a magical drink that can keep a person warm. Oh my god. So we could dance with them. They never get too cold. That sounds great. Thanks for helping me. I feel better now that they're back with me. My name's Sue. It's nice to meet another kid around here. Oh yeah, and feel free to use our bathroom anytime you want. If you find any more of my marbles, you think you can bring them to me? Yes. Of course! Thanks so much. Yeah, we found her marble. <laughs> Aha! They're in the bathroom. She's got one of those creepy ones, too. I'm just gonna fill all the sinks with water. Locked off. Need tools. Alright, what is in here? Looks like the toilet is stuck. Flush. It's fine to me. Looks like there's something shiny floating inside. Take it, yes. You receive- I got a key to Tony's bathroom. So good at this game. You couldn't fish out that key? You're worthless. Put lag, bruh. <laughs> Come on, keyboard. Is this Tony? Yeah. Uh, I need to get him a coffee. Dude, the input lag. Use, yes. Yes. I'm going home alone and becoming the, the water bandits or whatever they named themselves. Box labeled 5C power supply. Give! A paper notice is attached to the box. And there's a lever in front. Read the notice. 5C power supply. Do not tamper with this device. I'm going to tamper with it. 5C power supply is on. Okay, so can I get in that door now? Look at the doorknob. There's an electronic device. Yeah. One. Seven. Two. That's it, right? <clears throat> I'm so good at this game. Ooh, who are you? Attention, all hospital staff, urgent. Please begin transfer of medical supplies to the second floor storage wing immediately. Someone has etched something into the edge of the bulletin board. Yes, I'll read it. Oyster. Or Seer 2. That's sorry. S O R R Y. That's sorry. Or Seer 2. Someone's weather journal. Look inside. Yes. We weren't able to keep everyone alive, but we tried our best. I was going to say, there's no light in here. Patient 11 or 122 blood samples. Should I be paying attention to the blood sample patient numbers? What do you want to search? Plus shelf. An assortment of books and pamphlets line the shelves. A newspaper clipping is sticking out between two books. Read it. 14th of March, 
The NSA is that the number of people exposed to radiation has ex was expected to rise. Workers in protective clothing scan people arriving at evacuation centers for re radioactive exposure. Middle shelf. Several years worth of medical journals. Lower cabinet. Folders filled with medical forms. Looks like there's something beneath the folders. Yes. You found... I got a small cabinet key. Open the cabinet. Is it this cabinet? Yeah! Alright, I'm so good. There's a laminated card lying, lying on the bottom of the drawer. I'm gonna read it. Exit 5C passcode. Okay, so I need it. Do I need a password to get back out that door, or is it for that door? 2954. 2954. There's an electronic device with. Yes. 2. 9. Fuck. Come on. Input lag. There you go. 2. 9. Five, four. Yes. Who are you? We got a creeper in here. We just bought a fat gum pillowcase. What's a fat gum pillowcase? Or a fat? What's a fat gum pillow? Okay, post in Discord. Yes, so I can understand. No, just pillow. Oh, was your phone just freaking out? Oh, Fat Gum is a hero from My Hero Academia. Got it. Okay. That, that's the hero name, Fat Gum? His name's Fat Gum. A jar with an unknown specimen floating inside. A pair of glass beakers. Attention staff, a representative from... Coity Construction is coming tomorrow to survey the damage. Please make sure all personal materials are removed before then. This is storage room. Medical books. Oh, it's a puzzle. I fucked it up already. Did I? Oh, I can't get through that. Was that supposed to be easy, or did I accidentally fix that? I'm gonna pull it. Oh. But what's in here? Warning, construction zone. Please not enter without explicit permission from your supervisor. Knock, knock. Door's locked. This is very sus. He's precious. He is awesome and like eight feet tall. He goes from marshmallow to damn fine during a fight. <laughs> I love him both ways. He's best for body body, posit body positivity. Okay, I'm, that makes me happy to hear. Open the locker. A lab coat and a pair of scrubs are hanging inside. It looks like there's something inside the lab coat pocket. I found a metal door key. I don't like the clock sound. That feels like it might be significant. Metal door key. Is it this one? Hell yeah. There's a hole in the ground. That's an OSHA violation. Okay. There's a lot of flashing doors here. I have a card key? Okay. I was, you don't have a card key. Maybe if I fall through that hole, it sends me to the other hole. Is there like a portal thing going on here? Oh, folder one. Construction contract for the rebuilding of third floor wing B 2B. A stack of folders. You re I got a card key. Someone left a note here. Sure, I'll read it. Joji, remember to remove the card key when you're done this time, okay? We can't go on leaving doors open. I don't want to get in trouble again. I found money. 
The door is locked. Wait, what? Oh, you only get one. Okay, I was gonna say, what? what's the point of having two doors? It's because you need multiple guard keys. Okay, let's win this one then. A lantern with the card key. Hell yeah. Mine. No one else is using it. Bills and tax forms. All right. Is this counting? I want this. I got two now. I'm so good. Got another card key. Okay, what if I... Okay, I can't fall down that. Give me all my card keys, yo. Okay. So I have a bunch of card keys. Oh, I can just walk through that? Okay. The door is locked. A notice is posted here. Read it. For security purposes, all three supervisor card keys must be inserted in order to open this door. Okay. What a weird security thing. To open this door, you must have all the doors open. Okay. Onward. I want the shovel. I can't take it. Okay, we didn't see the person this time, and he turned on his light himself. Is that my book? Ah! My book! Hey! Get out of here, Yoshi. It's a little late for visitors, don't you think? Who are you? Oh, uh, I'm... Oh, wait. Oh, ha. Uh. Voice. Oh, uh, I'm no one important. Whenever you want to help, want to call me something, you can call me Uma. Hi, Uma. You stole my book. Are you the one who's been stealing food from the cafeteria? Did you take our book? Eh, I guess you kind of caught me in red-handed, jerk. Why would you steal from a hospital? Eh, I'm hungry. Down on my luck. What do you want me to say, kid? Why you stole my book? I don't care about the hospital food. Wait. Do you live here? For now. Not much of a home, but it beats sleeping on the streets, sir. Oh. I'm sorry you don't have a real home. Eh, yeah, you get used to it after a while. So, kid, are you hungry? I've got a bit of fish head left from last week, if you'd like. No, I'm good. Uh... Uh, that's okay. But well, thank you. <laughs> I'm a polite kid. Look, kid. I'm really sorry I took your book. Please, take it back and forgive me for my lapse in judgment. God, why'd you steal my book, bruh? It's okay. It's not. I do weird things when I'm hungry, too. Oh. I got my book! And I promise that, this, that as soon as I get back on my feet, I'll pay the ship back for all the food I took. I just need some time to figure things out. I understand. Oh. One more thing. If I tell you a secret about this hospital, you promise not to tell the staff that I'm here? Okay, I promise. Break me and I'll multiply. Become sharp as a tack. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. Talking about a mirror. That's a that's a Matt's mirror riddle. Hello. Ah, oh, shit. You're gonna think I stole the stuff. Fuck. What in the world are you doing in here? I. Fuck. Um. Well, I don't know how you got in here, but this area is off limits. Anyways, come with me. Your mom is here. Okay, she didn't think. Really? You're not going to look around and think I stole all this shit? 
Okay. That door got all shiny. Hi, Mom! Mom! Aw. After you worked so hard to get our book back, I think you deserve a good bedtime story. Will you read Rock Queen to me, Mom? Of course I will. Oh, she's so pretty. Once upon a time, there lived a boy in a faraway land called Morisota's Forest. Even though he was still quite young, the boy was considered a great warrior by his tribe. One day, the boy returned home from a hunt to find that everyone in his tribe had disappeared. At first, the boy was very afraid, but he soon learned that his tribe had escaped danger by sailing to a world called Rakuen. In order to reach them, the boy decided to seek help from the great guardian of the forest, Morizora. Totoro! For it has been said that Morizora would grant one wish to anyone who was able to complete his challenges. Thus, the boy set off on a great journey. He fought evil spirits, visited many lands, and befriended even the most severe of creatures. And at long last, Morizora granted the boy his wish a ride on his magical boat. The boy was now able to sail away, finally reuniting with his tribe and all those he loved. They didn't bother to in the find him? the world of Rockwood. Good night. Aw. That was cute. Oh, that was loud. Uh, um, is that you? Is it Yami? Hey! It is. Hey. Yami! You came back! I told you I would. So the doctor told me you were wandering around the backspace. What place is like a construction zone? That place is like a construction zone right now, man. It seems awfully dangerous to go there just for a book. It's not just a book. It's been in our family for generations. My grandmother used to read it to my mom when she was a kid. Ah, uh, so you got it back for that for your mom? Yeah. And me too. It's special to both of us. Special to that old homeless guy, too. The silver on the side probably sells for a lot. He was hungry. He was probably just trying to make it you feel sorry for him so you wouldn't tell on him. He should have felt sorry for you. You're the one stuck in the hospital. He could leave any time but you. You might never get to leave. Wow, what a fucking douche. Oh, hey, man, I'm sorry for saying that. It's okay. It's true. If it makes you feel any better, I'm stuck here, too. We can be stuck here together. You're right. Thanks, Yami. I'm trust this kid. I think that's a night nice shift nurse. Sorry, man. I should go. You're very suspicious. Yami! Yeah. I hope you er. I hope you get better. Oh god, that's so loud though. I hope this doesn't turn into a horror game. I would not be ready for that. There's a note on the floor. Hi mom. Hi, sweetie. Did you sleep okay? Oh, what's the matter? I wish I could go to the or Zora and ask him to grant me a wish, but I know it's not real. I'm just stuck here forever, aren't I? Maybe that's like my depression speaking, because it's always when I go to sleep. Yeah, I wasn't going to tell you this until you were older, but 
I think you might finally be grown up enough to know the truth about this book. The truth? Do you know why someone tried to steal our book? Because there's silver on it and people can sell silver for money? <laughs> no, no. That's not why at all. This book is not just an ordinary book. It's a map to the Morizora's fortress. A blueprint for what we need to do to meet Morizora himself. But... When the thief took our book, he obviously didn't realize that you need something else in order to get there. This is the raccoon key. You needed to open the book as well as the doors. The doors? My grandmother told me that when you have both the book and the key, secret doors will start appearing around you. Doors that lead from this world to the Morizora's forest. There could be doors in this hospital? Yeah, oh, are they the broken ones? I don't know. And we may never know unless we look ourselves. Oh, she's giving him hope. I want you to have this key. It's very special. And now it belongs to you. You got a sick key. Thank you, Mom! But you must promise me that you'll take good care of it. Oh, I promise I will take such good care of it. Okay, then. There's only one thing left to do. Let's go find a door to Morizor's forest. Oh, right. I gotta do that. If you want to talk to Mom at any time, press Q. Okay. Hello, dear. When I was a little girl, I used to always dream about finding a special door to Morizor's forest. I need a hint? Hmm. Did you notice that envelope on the floor to your room? Maybe someone left you a letter. Okay, I just had to experiment with that a little bit. It looks like someone left you a note. Break me and I'll multiply, becoming sharp as a tack. But if you all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. Figured you might need this in writing. There's something crazy where I live. I had something to help you there. Reflect on it for a while and maybe you can find it. Ah, reflect on it. That's a mirror. There it goes. But if all you do is smile at me, I always smile back. It looks like someone has hidden something behind the mirror. I found Uma's key. Okay. Does that mean I can use, use this door now? Not creepy. Urgent, please tran- yeah, yeah. A half-eaten fish that looks like it's been taken from the trash. Oh! Mom! Where are we? I'm not sure. Dude! Is Uma a special dude? Why the fail flute? It's so good though. We found it. We found it. This is so strange. Have a good one, Pancake. Sleep well. Mom, the raccoon key. Is it glowing? Holy shit! That looks cool. Mom! I don't want to be here anymore. I know, dear. But you know what? What? Now that you're the keeper of the key, you can go anywhere. Oh, sick. So I can actually leave the hospital without leaving the hospital? Even to Morizora. To ask him for a wish? 
if that's where you want to go. What if I'm in a coma? Can we go together? Of course. Well, shall we? Okay! Who are you? I love you. I forgot to turn off the voice thing. What in the world? Wait, we need to give them a voice. Hold on. What in the world? That'll work. How did you get in here? We just came in through the door behind us. There's no door behind you. The tall creature must have hit their head in the storm. They're talking crazy. I don't know how they got here, but maybe we should help them. I think you must be lost. I've never seen you around here, around Lori's Zora's forest before. Yes, this is our first time here. Oh, so you're Taurus then. I guess you could call us that. Wow, this is gonna be difficult. But well, we all know about this place. We read about it in our book. A book about uh, us? Yeah! I learned about the forest and the paradise world across the sea. Uh, you mean Rackwood? Yeah! That's wonderful! Is there anything else you'd like to do while you're here? Well, I've always wanted to meet the great forest garden, Morizora. Ah, uh, uh, Morizora? He lives in a cave just northwest of the village. But I hear he's been sleeping for a long time. And it's not easy to wake him up. Anyways, this is the Levo Village Inn. Feel free to make yourselves at home. Oh, they're nice. And let us know if you need anything. I love them! What interesting looking creatures. Did you notice when they turned around? They didn't have tails! Shh! It's not nice to talk about others behind their backs! Or about their backs. <laughs> hey! Sorry. I meant no harm. Just never seen anything like it is all. They're adorable as heck. Can I not go left here? A small fragrant flower. I like the music. So they did not see that door. Nothing on the tables. Hello. If you're looking for a more Zora, he lives in the big cave northwest of the village. Oh, um, what's it like not having a tail? You fall over a lot? Hey! Oops, uh, sorry, I mean, how, uh, how are you? Welcome to the Lebo Inn! Would you like to sleep here? No, thanks. Save your game? Sure. Wow, look at this art! Digging the tunes. Hello. Tony the bear keeps destroying our gardens. He's only good. Got two moods, grumpy and angry. Well, well, what do we have here? A couple of fresh faces in Morizor's forest. What are you? What am I? I'm a label, of course. What are you? A human, of course. Oh, that's funny. A dragon, a great warrior. Human? Is anything like a horse? 
Well, all creatures are welcome here in Label Village. So feel free to make yourselves at home. Oh, aren't you kind? Hello. Oh, it's a cupcake shop. I want to travel the world! I know it's a long shot, but I heard Winston used to build boats before he came here. Maybe he'll decide to build them again. Winston? Alright. Do, uh, do these people visit? Stupid bug landed on me. You must die. You must die! Who's Winston? Winston's a carpenter. People who lives down by the river. He's a nice guy, but he mainly keeps to himself. He's been caring for his sick wife ever since he came to the forest. You don't really know what happened to her. Okay, so... I might be in a coma or something, because... Everyone from... My world, I'm guessing, is going to be a character in this world. I want this treasure chest. I don't think we have the right tools to remove... Oh. I don't think we have the right tools to remove this bamboo. Alright. That's gonna get difficult to keep switching between those. Okay. Hello. Look at these boys! Can I not go over there? Okay. Hello. That's gonna be Danielle! Because this is that cat. Okay. I'm bummed that I can't go over there. Oh, there you go. It is Danielle. I was right. Uh, what was her voice? Hey, Kettle, welcome to my store. What's up? Oh, man, I gotta give them their labels, so maybe yeah, I should keep it. Label voice, but do their voice as labels? Lately, I've been thinking about getting a fist cat. My husband isn't too keen on the idea. But he'll walk up to it in no time. Wait, these are cats? Um, yeah, these are cats. Have you ever seen a cat before? What a weirdo. What's for sale? Nothing at the moment. I'm still getting things in order to f after the storm. But I might have some stuff later on. Okay, so yes, I'm meeting everyone from the hospital here. Okay, there's a blacksmith. Tony came in through here the other day. It almost crushed all my crops! That bear has such a bad attitude. Gotta get him some coffee. Okay, maybe I help these people and it unlocks how I get in there. This is gonna be Cora, I'm guessing. Is this Winston? The door is locked. There's a note on the door. I'm extremely sorry, but an angry spirit stole my tools and I'm unable to work until I get them back. Blacksmith. It is Cora. Okay, this is adorable. Wow, I've never seen you guys before. Are you new here? Normally at this time I'd be selling art supplies but I'm still cleaning things up after the storm. The storm? There was a storm here? A really big one. Lots of things were destroyed. Bamboo is growing out of control and blocking paths. It's crazy around here. But the biggest problem right now is that all the beanstalks connecting the village with the Skylands have been destroyed. The Skylands? Yeah. Half a tribe lives up there these on these islands in the sky. You can't reach them without the beanstalks. Normally, at this time, I'd be selling car supplies, but I'm still cleaning things up after the storm. You look a bit worried. I guess I'm just concerned about the other villagers. Everyone here worked so hard, and I feel like the storm kind of brought us all down. I wish there was something I could do to help them out, you know? I want to see this painting. What a strange painting. There's a sign in your house. Artist menu. Paper lanterns reads five. Fireflies six. 
I'm assuming I have to buy those at some point. Oh, there's a campfire! Hold on. Oh, we should finish this area, huh? Cupcake! Is this the... This is gonna be the chef. What's his name? Pinksky? Pinky? If you don't mind, I've got a lot of food to prepare. I'm not much time to do it. Oh, you are tall. I guess you're not from around here, are you? That's it? All right. Can't look at your donuts and stuff? Come on, man. Look at this bear... squirrel cat person. Stacy. We're Chef Pinky's kitchen assistants. It's a great job, but what is this in the bone? We just stuck out here for a quick break. Please don't tell him. Hey, you guys are new. Are you visitors or are you gonna live in the forest with us? Oh, can I get that chest? <gasps> I can get this chest. Mine. I found money. Okay. Who are you? Are you the bear? Key dog. Hold on. I'm gonna give him a voice. What are you looking? Oh wait. What are you looking at? It's cabbage, okay? You look like you've never seen someone eat cabbage. It's cabbage, okay? Cabbage. All right, he's eating cabbage. That looks like a dungeon. Or is there's cave enter? Okay, I will come back to that. Can I check the well? Go up. Look at that tree! That's pretty as heck. Hello, friend. Patty Bun Kings! What's up, my dude? Happy Monday indeed. How are you doing, my man? Oh my god, this guy's a chonk. Buffkus. All right, we're gonna need another whole another voice for this guy. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then we're, we're gonna do this. Hey, you're trying to talk to the Silas Berries of the bush, are you? Cause they're mine. Oh, I thought he was gonna be special. Bummer. Uh, this looks blocked. I heard the legal chief. No one is allowed beyond this point until further notice. Hmm. We can probably just move the sign. Doesn't look too heavy. The sign speaks. Excuse me. No one moves me. I'm here for your protection, you know. These are angry spirits beyond here. You think I'm standing around for my health? Oh, I, I didn't know. I'm really sorry. Well, she accepted. I got out of here before I changed my mind. That's funny. Just gonna about to make some dinner. Nice. What are you making for dinner? I'm doing just fine myself. Just, uh, we finished Ghost of Tsushima, so we're on break week and decided to play this for break week. Let's see what it's about. Oh, we got a sleeping friend here. Yep. Sleeping. Oh, treasure chest. Mine. Oh. Can't move that rock yet. Hello. Wait. I'm trying to talk to you. Star and I is just around the corner. When I go this time, I'm going to catch myself a pet fish and eat sweets. Catch himself a pet fish. All right. Oh, there was a little way I could have gone over there. Dang it. All right. We share this forest with the envoy. Winston told me that you can tell when Envoy Spurs pass through because it gets really cold. Plus, 
to knock over all our emerald bean stalks. That means travel between here and the Skylands is on hold until we can grow some new ones. Half the village lives on those big islands up there in the sky. You should check it out sometime. Well, I'll see saplings grow up. If only there were a way to speed up the process. Like, what if there were another world, an alternate universe if you will, where altering things there could alter things here and in completely unpredictable ways. <laughs> the face. I have a lot of time to think, okay? I love this person. All right, cool. So I probably do have to water those plants in the hospital. Making some pasta? Nice. Uh, what game is this? It's called Raccoon. And uh, from what I understand, it's a feels trip game and is going to be very sad. We just made it into this alternate world. My character, the one with the samurai origami hat, he lives in a hospital and this is his mom. She reads a book that's been passed down to their family for generations and we found a secret door that led us to this world that is part of the book world. So now we're just kind of observing it. Oh, it's Uma. Hey, kid, wait up. What are you doing here? I, you're the forest spirit, aren't you? Uma. I hope you know these caves you're about to go into aren't t are a tad confusing. If you're not careful, you could end up getting lost. You'd better take this. Take this. It's dangerous to go alone. You receive more as cave map. Nice. Good luck, kid. Just fucking leaving? Thank you, Uma. Mom didn't even bother to ask who the hell that guy was. Friend? 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 Cave blood. Ooh, I feel like going in there. That place is weird. Uh, cave map. Uh, so I have this map, but I don't know what it is. Okay, how do I close it? Z. Hey. So can I actually... Hmm. These are look shiny. They're nothing. Okay. Wait! Oh, that's Jackie! doing in here? I'm sorry, is this area off limits? We were just looking for more Zora. Did we go to get the wrong cave? No, this is more Zora's cave. But you know, it isn't safe right now, don't you? The envoy are here. The envoy? You know, spirits are between this realm and another. Most of them are harmless. They're just hanging around and are passing through. But lately, many of them have become corrupted with bad energy. They're so blinded by things like fear and hatred that they aren't themselves anymore. I was in here collecting supplies last week and a bunch of them stole my tools. I haven't been able to work at all since then. Whoa, the music kind of like... ...rewound there. That was weird. I'm... I'm so sorry to hear that. At least I made it out alive. What if we were... Er, hold on. Tad down. What if we were just really careful? Are you crazy? Didn't you hear what I just said? Yeah, but I really need to talk to the Morizora. Plus, we're a lot bigger than you are. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! I was so caught up in thought, I didn't even realize you were like 10 feet tall! We're not 10 feet tall. Close enough. What the heck are you anyway? We're humans. Interesting. Okay, well, that's a block to you. One problem though. I know you're trying to reach Morizora, but as you can see, the entrance to his grove has been blocked up by overgrown bamboo. I think 
that down there. Put that down there to get my tools back. Let's put put them in that box over there. Everything I need to do my job is in that box, including my hats. We'll do whatever it takes to help to help you out. You can start by draining this lake. There are two switches in this cave that control the flow of water. Find them both and we're good to go. Pretty straightforward, right? I guess. That's the spirit! Uh, no pun intended. I'll wait here for your... for your return. Good luck! Alright, we found Jackie. Got a little tentacle slug thing. Hello! Excuse me, do you mind moving so that we can get through here? I'm sorry, I'm too tired to move. Too tired. Ah, uh, why are you so tired? Well, usually I love swimming through the dirt. I go on random errands for the tree I belong to. But my tree is malnourished, which means I'm malnourished too. So... Unfortunately, I can't move right now. Maybe if my tree get what it needs, I'll be able to move again, but... Until then... I'm too tired. Okay, so we gotta find a tree. Look at that boy! It's a golem child. Your big brother forgets. Oh wait. Your big brother forgets. He he gets so tired that he sits around waiting for someone else to feed him. What's the matter? I'm so hungry. So hungry that I can't. Thing. I'm sure we have some extra food that we could give you. No, I already sold it. Oh, oh I can't eat horse food. Horse food? I need Scylla apples only. From Scylla cave tree. Oh. Is that the tree that's malnourished? Okay. Look at this little thing. Baby tree. Still a cave sapling. You think I'm beautiful? I heard that if you have happy feet, you become more beautiful. Is it true? Um, I don't think I've heard that saying before. Oh, it must be a tree thing then. I think you have... Oh, because roots, feet, got it. I think you have very beautiful green leaves. Oh, it's blushing. Ha, <laughs> that's adorable. Thank you. You see, I have three feet. They're probably popping up around here somewhere. But they're so sad right now. How can my beautiful... How can I be beautiful if my feet are so sad? One is hungry for dirt, one is thirsty for water, and one really needs some sunlight. We just don't like sunlight. Can you please help them? Sure. Fox. It's locked. Fuck. All right. That's suspicious as heck. It's quiet. I don't like it. We're not going to do it yet. Oh, it's a button. It's a button puzzle. Okay. I thought they were just pillars. Look at the owls! I'm so tired. I had a long day. Okay, so do we... How do you do? It's someone's birthday today. Oh! You think I can fly? I'm gonna more so I wake up. So tired. 
birthday is my birthday. Okay, so they're numbered. Let's see. One, two. Okay, let's see if the cable save. So it's one, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully it saves. Seven, eight. No oh, shit. All right. No. Nope. Input lag. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. I think I fucked up already. Input lag six. Seven. Eight. Yeah, so it's... One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. That's wrong? Alright, do I have to actually make a, a drawing of this? That's what I'm going to do. One. Yeah. Three. Two. Oops. <laughs> Mouse being captured. I don't need that. Two. Oh, that's two. Yeah, two, three, four, five. That was seven. Oh, shit. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's where I fucked up. I messed up on seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did it! Wow, good eye. That's right. We made good team. You found the blue stone key. Cool. Okay, so I found... I think that puzzle's done. Blue stone key. That looks like a blue stone. This is one of his roots. Friendly foot. I do have any water. Hmm, let me check real quick. Oh yes, we do have an extra bottle of water here. Would you like it? Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's kind of you, but when I say water, I mean like a lot of water. Like a pond's worth, I drink a lot. I forgot to turn off the voice thing. Hmm, I don't think we can carry that much water. I understand. If you happen to come across any, though. But like you know. Okay. So. Oh, I can't go down there. I thought that was a way down. Bluestone key! There's a lever. That's the first level. Lever. Let's do it. Oh, is he gonna... Oh. He's gonna get lots of water. Yo, look how happy he is! <laughs> it's adorable. This is great! I can feel the water flowing up through the ground and into my toes. Did you guys do this? All we did was pull a switch. You gave me water! Water! I can finally be me again! 
Thank you so much. I love him. Look how happy he is, stupid face. <laughs> He's so fucking stupid, I love it. And the music's all, like, bouncy. Oh, that, okay, so to get up there is probably those other stairs. That sunflower reminded me of, uh, Lances vs. Zombie Sunflower. That's a great game. I should play that again on stream sometime. Come on. Ghost person. Hello. Oh, this is Sue. This is the girl with the marbles. I never lost something important. Lost something that was really important to you. Oh, that's sad. Does that mean she's dead? I was supposed to meet my friend, but I can't remember where we were gonna meet. I have to find her before it's too late. I have to. That's sad as heck. Hey, bud. I have this really catchy song stuck in my head. It's been this buddy indie rap artist named Lil Buds. <laughs> He's a sky, sky bud. So he looks like me. And he lives in the sky. It's so good. What's the song about? Oh, it's so deep. It's about having to work every day, surfing tea to rich buds, having a high strung boss who wears powdered white wigs. Wanting to make it as a hip hop artist really speaks to me. It's so good. What are you? Oh, I'm a cute bud. Not quite fully grown, but I'm getting there. It's a glow shroom. I'm a glow shroom. I'm supposed to glow big and bright. But lately, I've been having trouble holding my charges. It's probably all that stress from work. I just gotta take it easy. Make sure to exercise. You know how it is. Okay. I don't like that Sue is a ghost. Those guys are creepy. I don't like them. Mom? What are those? Hmm. I'm not sure, dear. I wonder if they're the envoys that Jackie was talking about. I hate that. Mom. Um. Stay close to me, dear. Oh, I didn't like that. It's all right, dear. I think they're gone for now. Did not like that. That's blocked off. Ooh, there's a bunch of them. Did they just walk in a pattern or do they come after me? Mom, there's so many of them. I'm kind of scared. It's okay, sweetie. Hold my hand and stay close to me. I'll lead us through here. Okay. She's actually controlling this. Oh, that was close. Just a little bit further. You can do it, sweetie. Those things are creepy. Hold the line. Tycho, you champion. What's going on, my friend? Welcome to the stream. I didn't know you were streaming today. Or right now. And Artsy Oxalotl, hey, I know you too. How's all your lovely faces? Thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? Were you doing more uh, comics y stuff? Mom, we made it! I knew you could do it. <gasps> Axel, thank you so much for the follow! Welcome to the Puffer Pile! Give me doggy some treaties. Here you go. Want this cookie? Come here. Cookie time. Oh, and you got another cookie time! You're getting all the... You're getting all them treaties. How you doing? How you doing? And that's for the cookie time! Um, yum, 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 And then I heard a how you doing. Citric Singer, thank you so much for the follow! Welcome to the Puffer Pile! Yum, 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 good cookies. 
Oh, you're getting all the spoils. Mamas, do you want this cookie? This one's for you. Hippotate. Anyways, my friends, thank you so much for popping in. I'm Vasive. I'm a variety gamer here. This brown baked potato is Mamas. Black and white one is Jada. There's a real stars yeah. of the show. Um, doing some variety gaming. We just beat Ghost of Tsushima last week. So we're in the middle of a, a break week right now where I just kind of play like short one-offs or something like that until we start Bayonetta next week because that's a longer game. Um, this game is called Raccoon and it's a field trip kind of game. I don't know much about it, but to catch you up, we are a kid that's in a hospital that seems we're like we're stuck there. We can't leave. And my mom comes and reads me like a book that's been passed down the generations for our family. Oh, no... And then we found a secret door that the book unlocks. So that's where we're at right now. We got boop just notes. Boop. Hey, mommies. I need to know. Boop, got him. <laughs> Boopy snooze for you. Sorry, catching up on chat. You like my voice? Thanks. Oh, man. I'm very self-conscious about my voice, but thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yes, we got the good puppies. And they get the treats. I'm lime green. I'm lime green. Who's lime green? How you doing? My stream was okay. We we're working on comics. It was quite short compared to normal, but I'm doing okay. I had a crazy medical incident on Sunday. Yo, are you okay? Everyone send good vibes to Tycho. I hope you're okay. Lime green and orange. I do have a potato. You call your cat a potato? <laughs> Gotta go sleep. Good night, birds. Thank you so much for popping in. We'll catch you next time. You're full of lies. <laughs> I'm glad uh, you like it. Oh, man. Ooh. Yeah, I, I, I get annoyed by my voice, but I actually don't know anyone that doesn't get annoyed by their voice, so... I'll take the aggressive vibes. I had a seizure, most likely from stress and lack of sleep, so that's all. Dude, all right. Please do make sure you're taking care of yourself, yeah? Like... Get your sleep, get you your basic needs, food, water, relax when you can, meditate, whatever you need to do to decompress. Oof. I'm glad you're okay, though. Uh, are they going to do any follow-ups? If, if this is getting too personal, of course, you know, feel free to say. I'm just, you know, I'm worried about you. Just want to make sure that you're doing okay and they're doing everything they can to make sure it doesn't happen again. That's scary. I didn't mean to start screaming. Color. You have synesthesia! Yo! Oh, that's so cool, man. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I haven't heard of any like negative side effects from having synesthesia. And I know, um, oh, what's her name? I just forgot her name. Laura666, is that it? She plays piano on Twitch and she has synesthesia and she taught herself how to play piano by the colors that she sees she doesn't she can't read music and stuff and she's really good like she can improv songs just by listening to it because she's like okay that color is associated to this note and it's awesome and i think my synesthesia my sister has it because she associates words with smell like not like brown poop or any something but like um she'll be like that person smells pink or this paper smells green even though if the paper is like you know a completely different color i have a lot of types of synesthesia actually really okay all right well now i'm interested okay lime green and orange hold on so i'm lime green and orange oh no i minimized the game so weird stuff is gonna happen i'm lime green lime green and orange lime green and orange that's kind of cool that's that's the sound Okay, we're going to play with this. All right, so I do sound effects, right, with the stream. What does this color bring? Not this one. This one's boring. What does this color bring? Does this change the colors at all? Because now I'm very interested. We're, we're going down a whole path now. I'm trying for sure. I'm crazy most because my financial station is so tight. Yeah, freaking medical crap, dude. Massive, massive stress. Exercise, eating time, you know, calories, drink plenty of water. Fortunately, that's all unlocked, but my sleep is just whack. Being a neurologist soon, so most likely my brain is 404 and yeah. All right, well, you keep me up to date, all right? I want to make sure you're okay. 
Constance, people have colors. Sounds have physical sensations on my skin. Whoa! Sounds... Look, so that's like super ASMR, huh? Numbers, letters have colors. That tickles. What, the chipmunk voice tickles? That's funny. I use this, um... I use this voice when playing, like, Legion in DVD. Yes, I'm the same way. ASMR is physically painful for me. Like... And I'm told that can be actually a re a reaction to ASMR, meaning that I actually get that. But I'm also told ASMR is supposed to be pleasing, and it's not. Like, the sensual, or it's not supposed to be sensual, but the talking, like, into mics or, like, the crinkly noises. The only ASMR I like is, like, this. Water running. Like, or rain. Like, natural ASMR, but anything else, or, like, mouth-smacking noises. Woo! That makes me kick, dude. Oh, that makes my foot kick. I can't do it. It makes me feel squished. <laughs> feel like someone's stabbing me, poking me with little needles. Oh, boy. Well, hopefully, uh, it's not too bad, because uh, I do different voice changers and different voices for when we have different characters in-game. We just met uh, a new little root shoot. And it looks like he wants some light. So he says, this dark makes me sad. Somehow I need to get him some light. There's a mushroom. He looks happy. Shimeji. I don't know about that foot is talking about. The dark is great. I know. How do we... Oh, I found money. I found money. You also have misophonia. So mouth noises make me want to retch. Yeah. I think I... I don't know if I have that, but yeah, if I hear smack, like mama's, when she licks herself, she smacks and it, I have to immediately put the kibosh on it. She knows, like, I just have to say her name and then she's, she knows she's making slurpy noises. Also, there's a mama's belly. There's a belly! I mean, she's going to sleep. She always goes upside down when she goes to sleep. But yeah, same, um, smacking noises, mouth noises, squelchy stuff, bleh. Literally makes me want to kick. I like cooking sounds ASMR. Cooking sounds like macaroni. Just blech. Body sounds ASMR make me feel really tense. Like my body's tightening up, but other kinds of ASMR make me feel heavy, like there's an outside pressure. I can't stand dogs because of the sounds. <laughs> That's why you have a parrot. Oh, do you have a parrot? Hey, join the Discord. I want to see pictures. Licking makes me crazy. Same. Can't do it. Can't do it. Gonna lurk. Get some sleep. Yes! Tycho, go get some sleep. Everyone give Tycho good energy for sleeping and stuff. We don't want the, him to have any more uh, seizures. Please do sleep. A lot of sounds feel like this. Oosh. Yeah, my dad's dog used to lick her paws a lot and it would get me after a while. Yeah, dude. I have to immediately stop it. Sizzling and... Ch okay, yeah. Um... I just recently started following a bunch of like Japan or YouTube channels of Japanese people. I think they just live completely off the grid, but they go like up in the mountains and they start picking like different foods and stuff and like they cook it up. Like those sounds are great. Like rain, thunder sounds are great, but actually like non-natural sounds. Oh, can't do it. Or someone like whispering in my ear. Oh, even just thinking about it makes me itch. Oh, am I... Okay, now I'm cold because I'm getting all goosebumps and I hate it. Okay, so we need to get some light down here. Oh! Hey! Can I borrow your hot fire? Look at this sunflower. Yay! Break that floor! This guy's got sunglasses! Sup, homies? Can I borrow your fire? That doesn't count as sunlight, right? Oh. Oh, I'm making holes in the ground. <gasps> Yo, oh, did that give him light? That didn't give him a light. Oh, wait, there's actually rays coming down. I did it! He's so happy! I'm so happy! Ugh, I can't stand all this light. I 
makes me grow. Doesn't it make you grow? No, of course not. If not light, then what do you eat? Dead plants, of course. Ah! I love their... They, like, that little happy face on that root reminds me of Undertale. Oh, crap. You got timed out or something. Hold on. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 what happened? <laughs> oh, he sent a link. No problem here. Hold on. There you go. You can send it. What the heck is this? Go away. That was a weird message that it sent me. What is this? <gasps> you sent a parrot. It's an African gray. My mom had one of those. Heck yeah, dude. Discord. Yeah, if you guys want to join the Discord, feel free. Be happy to have you. We have a, a pets channel and stuff. Feel free to share anything you so desire. In any of the applicable channels. Hi, doggy. Okay, so we got... One was tired. Why was he tired? Because he's malnourished. His tree is malnourished. I don't remember what one he needed. He says, hello, hello. <laughs> What's your parrot's name? Sue is still sad. I don't like that. I hope she's going to end up dying, isn't she? And that's going to really upset me. Dashinki? Is that how you say it? Dashinki? Or Dashiki? Dashiki. I put an N in there on accident. That's a cool name. Hey, look at it. He's growing. Dashiki. Hi, Dashiki. Thank you for saying hello. I've already helped to my feet. Thank you. There's just one more that needs something now. Okay, so the other foot is this way. And then I'm guessing he grows up and has the f apples and I feed it to him. I'm guessing. Oh, he left. Oh, he moved. Okay, so that's probably a good sign. guys before. You don't look like Weebles. You certainly don't look like you're from the Envoys, so you must be new. Do you have any questions? Do you live here? Yeah, I actually live right through that door up there. Unfortunately, some golems were roughhousing right above my front door. Now there's a pile of rocks blocking my entrance. That's terrible. That's no biggie. There's a pig living around here somewhere. He only eats mushrooms and rocks. I'm sure he'll clear this out once he comes around. Tell me about the envoy. The envoy are between this realm and another. Most of them are harmless, just spirits passing through. But some of them have grown over have grown overcome with bad energy. Fear, anger, hatred. It's those that you have to watch out for. What are you? I'm a cave bud. Along with the mushrooms, flowers, and mini moris, we help e keep the forest running. Okay. Nope. There we go. A little tulip. Oh, it is a tulip! The golem's always roughhousing is a major problem down here. They call us that rock slay the other day. The only good thing about them is that they smell like grapes. They smell like grapes. All right, good to know. They smell like grapes. He's like 22. Oh, 22. I thought he was going to say 22 years older than you. They can live to be like 50 or something, right? Cute tree. He cat called me. <laughs> That's hilarious. Getting sleepy. I'm going to head. Have a good rest of your stream. Hey, thanks for popping in, RT Axolotl. I hope you're doing well too. Sleep well, my friend. 
Oh, 80 years. Yeah, they can live a long time. You know, a lot of people pass them down their family when their owner passes away. Those rocks are weird. Why are they weird? Well, one time I saw a mushroom jump from one rock to rock to get to the other side, and as he jumped, the rocks turned blue. What's up with that? Weird, right? Okay, so that must be... There's a pattern to jump across the rocks. The door is locked. Okay, so how do I get to the rocks? Jump. Move that. Jump. Aha! Blue. 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 What's the point? Okay, so do I need to... Maybe I gotta make them all glow a certain way. How do I get up there? Those look like potatoes. There's a mini golem. And an owl. I fell through the world. Whoa. The door is locked. Whoa, where did I go? Potatoes have a tea party. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Citric. I have a blue key. Can I unlock this? Uh. The bigger golems are always roughhousing. I'm not ready for that yet, so I just hang out with the cats. Like that they have a, a deep voice, even though they're a little version of themselves. Is that a bird? Oh, you're creepy. It's a pig. That's a pig. Wah, wah, wah. You come to feed me rocks or truffalos? No, oh, then I stay here. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, what the fuck? Uh, I can't pick those up. Come over this way. There's stuff over here. I have no idea where I'm in a... That is not a pig game, devs. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a make-believe land right now. Have a good one, Patty! Hey, enjoy your dinner, dude. I'm, uh, jelly, because I haven't eaten yet. I'll catch you soon. Oh, look, it's a little... It's a leek or an onion. Oh, Mom, look, it's a little onion! Bad attitude onion. Oh, okay, we gotta give him a voice deep voice because he's angry. Are you calling me a little onion? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. You're much bigger than the other onion I've seen. Your face is gonna be an onion if you don't stay out of my way. So rude. Oh, hey. I know where I'm at now. What a weird roundabout way. Hello? Are you doing better? Oh, oh, it's me. Hunger consumes me. My stomach is empty of eggs. I long for that nectar of the forest, that life-giving ambrosia. That which pleasants my stomach, delicious, delectable, divine dirt. All right, does the pig crush up some stuff and make dirt? Okay, so that's where I fell through the ground. Fuck! Okay, so there's no indication as to what makes me fall through the ground. Shit, I knew that was gonna happen. Of course it wouldn't be easy. With stinky attitude, right? <laughs> Thanks for the GG's, Patty. What voice? The pig one? Just let me talk to the bird. Did you know there's a treasure in the room below me? 
Anthony, it's behind a locked door. I wonder what's inside. Oh, let me fall. Yes! Yes, I'm so good! I found the redstone key. Aha! Okay. Now what? The pig is Wario. He, yeah, he does kind of sound like Wario, huh? Okay, so we figured that out. Oh, there's markings. That's kind of cool. What's the wolf? This is the hop skip jump thing, isn't it? Oh, there's a bunch of people. Look at this. There's the little mushroom all the way over there is cracking me up. Dude. Ugh. Wait, we should make these guys surfer guys. Ugh. Ugh. What are you doing, man? You totally stepped on a red shroom. A red shroom? Oh no. I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to. Hmm. Come here, little dude. Am I in trouble? Nah, we're cool. I can tell you're a good little dude. I'm King Spore, and these are my totally radical Shijemi... Shimeji guards. Together, we make up the Red Shroom Preservation Society, or RPS for short. All around Morazor's cave, there's a great battle going on. A war between good and evil, a struggle between rad and bad. This place is a literal war zone. Yes, yes. You should be surprised, shocked. Surprised. For ages, the red shrooms and the bad shrooms have been at war. Red shrooms, like the poor little dude you just stepped on. Sorry. They fill the air with righteous spores that make you peaceful, kind, full of red. These guys are magic mushrooms. Red shroom, spores in the air mean we all get along better. Bad shrooms, on the other hand. Squish them, squish them, squish them. No! Bad shrooms are totally uncool. When you breathe in the spores, you become rude. Is that why the onion's rude? Gnarly. Stuck up. So, little dude, whilst you're on your totally righteous journey, the RPS says that you help stomp out the bad. While totally protecting the red. I'll try my best. Awesome. Hey, little dude, is that like your mom? Yes. Moms are totally cool. <laughs> she didn't say anything. All right, smash him. Smash. Some crazy dude with a big mustache and overalls came in here the other day and tried to eat me. He thought it would give him an extra life. I had to tell him, look, man, I'm not that kind of mushroom. Ha, <laughs> because he's a one-up shroom. The only thing I'll, I'll get if you try to eat me is a really bad stomach ache. Yeah, don't eat, don't eat rod or wild shrooms. Sacrifice the mushroom to the pig. I would feel sad. Smash. Smash. Me. <laughs> Your voice is almost warping into ego core from the meet the cores on YouTube. Oh, I don't know who that is. Nice view of the water from here. Okay, so I have that red door. Got a key. Might as well go in here. Smash. Smash. Can't get that thing yet. What time is it? Okay, I got time. Hello! I remember you. Smash! Smash. Do I have to go everywhere and smash the shrooms now? That'd be kind of a bummer, huh? Oh, look! It's the potatoes! Easy. A dreadful pig that lives out there only eats two things. Rocks and us! Ugh, so barbaric. 
They look very happy for someone that eats them. We have the most delicious dirt in all the forest. And that's how it should be. We are the best mushrooms, so we should get the best dirt. If you've come here to ask for our dirt, you're not just gonna give it to you if you don't give us something in return. Shit. What do you want? All these sandwiches are filled with dirt. Okay. Uh, pig! Pig! I found a way for you to go eat them! Oh, that's awful. Jump. 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 Okay, you can speed run that. Where's that pig? Okay, so I'm not seeing any more mushrooms. So maybe they're just on this edge. Ah! You're a jerk. Is it because they're surrounded by bad mushrooms? Ah! Bad energy mushroom. He's better now. Uh, something feels different. I suddenly feel happy. Good for you. Thanks for clearing the air in here. No problem. Hey, we helped him. Wow, this is such a nice cave. The sound of the underground river near here. The cool feel of the rocks between my stalks. And wow, I really love your hat. Oh. He's, a, he's a nice onion now. Smash. All right, we're getting you dirt, dude. Don't worry. I'm working on it. Watch your step. Yeah, yeah. This just goes down here. Is there any mushrooms down here? No. This goes to the shrooms, right? Yeah. All right, don't step on the good shroom. I need to get that way because that's where the pig is, right? I've already been there. All right, let's go back. Oh, heck yeah, dude. I will be checking them out. I like seeing pet pigs. Why is the pig not showing up? Shit! Alright, well, I'm just gonna do this then. Oh, pig. Found pig. Oh, he's on the other floor. Smash! Come to feed me more rocks or truffalos? No, then stay here. Ah, oh, shit. How do I get them to come over here? Hmm. Hmm. shrimp. Maybe I gotta smush all the mushrooms. And then the mushroom... King gives me something. Really hope I don't have to leave the whole freaking area. That would suck. No mushrooms. Okay. I don't remember actually how to get. The king mushroom. Don't step on the good mushroom, mom. Did 
Did I do it? Oh, I think I did. Thanks for helping me out, man. How radical am I? Mm, I'm totally gonna have to check out with my sources and like get back to you, man. Thanks for helping out. What do we do again? Don't, oh man. I didn't finish. Son of a. That sucks. Okay, I don't see any here. Maybe. Oh man, do I have to go to the other side, really? Go to the other side. Hey, dude, have you seen any new mushrooms around here? There's a chest buried up there. Also, I filled the other... Oh, yep. I flipped both the switches. It should work. Does that mean the... I can get his tool? Yes, yeah, mush the baddies. Okay, remember, this is a dead end. Yeah, the soundtrack's great. Uh, the composer does always does have fantastic soundtracks. I unfortunately just have forgotten her name. Any shrimps? Yes, we play D&D. &D. Um, we haven't... Uh, I, I was doing a campaign for a while. Um, pretty much when, like, quarantine started. Uh, we haven't gone back to it in a while. Because uh, we lost a couple players and people's schedules changed and all kinds of stuff. Um, but there is talk of getting it started up again, possibly. Um, on my YouTube, though, the, all the... Uh, all the videos are saved there. So you can check them out if you so desire. You're not a bad shroom, are you? <laughs> oh, I should be reading this. Yeah, I'm sorry. Urge snoop, you have legs and can get up and move no problem. This guy over here, though, kind of needs the sun, so I guess it's okay if you open one bright room. I love the light! Plants. <laughs> Come on, input lag. The ominous music. I may be able to watch the videos. Oh, dude. You are fine. They, you wouldn't be able to watch them all in one sitting anyway. There's like 24 hours of video or something. Which is uh, quite a few sessions. Space! You beautiful bee! Thank you so much for the gift sub! You want a cookie? Oh, cookies, it thank you so much for the sub. Mama's comes running in. It thank you so much. Hold on, we got it. We got to do that. Uh oh. New sub. Oh, I can I can type. I know what I'm doing. Boom. There you go. Now you can use the the greeting command. Thank you so much, space. I appreciate you, my friend. You are ever so kind. Thank you so much for that gift stuff. Hope you enjoyed that ad previewing and all those lovely emotes. You, ha I have a knife. <laughs> yes. Hopefully you get some good use out of them. Uh, those are, that one's fairly new. It makes me happy. And was recently added. There's no sound. Okay. That scared me for a second. All right. Are we done smushing mushrooms? Don't squish. Okay. Did I go to the right here? I don't remember. I did not smush. Smush. 
No mushrooms. Okay. So happy. Come on. Okay. I we might be done now. I hope we're done. Cuz I ran all over the place for those mushrooms. So we turn on both the switches. Can you do your thing now? Nope. You have to find two switches to drain the power. I did. I did that. Okay, so I flipped two switches. They must not be the ones that I need to flip. Hmm. Okay. Let's go to the Mushroom King. Ding. Ding, 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 ding. I don't remember how to get to the Mushroom King. I think I would have remembered by now. I feel like it's up right there. So that's a wolf symbol. What's the wolf symbol? Mama's being all feisty. Oh, you being feisty for a potato? <sighs> what? <sighs> what? <sighs> what? What? You being feisty for? What you being feisty? I get it. What? What? Ooh. What? Aha! I found him. You are so radical. My sources tell me you've been stepped on a lot of bad shrooms. Whee! I guess you've totally gotten earned access to the store. The store! Only members of the RPS and dudes at the RPS team where they are allowed to buy items from the store. Whoa! Watch, it's gonna be like garbage. It's our way of saying thank you for your help, little dude and super rad mom. Unfortunately, we're not quite open yet. Why don't you come back in a while and we'll totally hook you up? God damn it, dude. I did all that work thinking it needed to be done. How do I get those? How do I get those dumb ones to move then? I'm guessing I have to buy something from the store to give to the potato mushrooms. Hurry up. Um. No, no. We we have a small channel, but we do have a great little community here. I'm a, I'm a wall smooth, strong, and loud. <laughs> a small version that screams and erupts. King Spore is definitely selling drugs, right? Well, now I'm lost. These guys are gonna want something from the shroom or the store, aren't they? That dreadful pig delivers down here only it's two things. Yes, we know that. Turn off your light. Nope. Okay, I can't flip that back. Nope. The fine porcelain cup is filled with muddy water. I want some stuff. If you come here to ask for our dirt, you're not going to have to give it to you if you can give us something in return. Okay. Music just got intense. F uh, what do I do now? I need dirt to give to the root, but to get dirt, I need it from those potato mushrooms. I need to give them something to give me dirt. Or I need to get that pig to somehow move. Get out of here. Keep mouse keeps getting in the way. 
Can you harvest anything? Um, you can kind of hold money. Like, whenever you find money, you just kind of find it. And it puts it away. But I don't have an inventory. Yeah, I've read that. Alright, what if I... Hmm. I feel like... Is this fire here for a very particular reason? <laughs> you oh, you meant to flex on them? That's hilarious. Can I just pick you up and use you as a wallet? I'm kind of lost. Can you do anything for me? No. The past block by hella sharp rocks. Did I have to read that first for the pig? How unfortunate would that have been if I had to read that bit first? Ding, 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 ding. When is the dudes with the store going to be done? Are you guys done with your store yet? Or are you lying about the store? I feel the water from here. Meep. Some crazy dude with big mustache. Yeah, yeah, we read that one. Right? Need the pig to eat the rocks. If it's honestly just because I needed to... ...notice the rocks there, even though I talked to the people next to him saying the rocks were blocking the way because the pig needed to eat them, I'll be slightly upset. Damn it! Um... <laughs> what can I be missing? I've talked to everyone. Yeah, right? I thought the same thing. What do I need to do to trigger the store? I wouldn't think it would be a time-based thing. That would really suck. Is there anything hidden here? I've always taken the same path. Okay. I misread that thing then. Oh, sick. Let's smash him. I guess I wasn't done. I found some pig repellent. Got it. Mm, I, want one mm, I wonder who this kid would want something like pig repellent. Probably uh, the pig that we've seen. <laughs> ha ha! Progress. You found... I found money. Sick. Alright, cool. Let's go... Oh! A 
Okay, I give the pig repellent to the mushrooms. I bet. Because they don't want to get eaten by the pig. Right? That makes sense. Oh, these are all just lit forever now. All right. Eat. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same thing. Hey, guys. I got some piggy repellent. You want it? That dreadful pig that lives down here only eats two things. Rocks, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. You're not the one I want. You. Wait. Is that pig repellent you're carrying? Ah, oh, we need that! We'll give you a bag of our best dirt if you give us that pig repellent. I'll even throw in some truffle perfume. It's so refined. Yes, perfume you would make even a lowly cave bud smell as good as us, her. Huh? But stay away from pigs while you're wearing it, otherwise they might follow you around. Disgusting. Ah, so that's how I get him to go eat those rocks. Barbaric! Uncouth! Give the yes. You traded for some dirt and perfume. Delightful! Now that uncouth pig will finally give us some peace and quiet. Sick. All right. Dirt. Uh, where is... Okay, we're gonna go this way first. stepped on a friend mushroom. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to step on him. No, come on. Come on, keyboard. Come on, keyboard. Come on, keyboard. Holy crap, the input lag is real bad right now. Oh my god. You like that sound? Wait, the perfume is mushroom scented, right? It's uh, it's kind of dark. Okay, so let's get this pig. Oops. I wonder if he would follow us if we use the truffle perfume. Yeah, how do I use it? Are you escape journal Let's see cave map hi mom item aha oh i do have an item store i used it wah, wah, wah! you smell like a truffalo i follow you that's a pig oh that thing is Nightmarish. Look at his creepy feet. This way. What if we led him to the the truffalos? <laughs> How messed up would that be? They scraped off their skin. Gross. Eat this. Rocks. Munch away. Nom 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 nom. Rocks him now travel over dessert. Oh shit. Okay, so I did that. Oh, where is that? Uh, my friend. I don't remember where that last route is. Okay, you guys are not dead. I feel slightly better. I thought you were going to get eaten. Ah! I'm a fool. Why isn't my root thing marked on the map? Aha! Dirt for you! Does my rooty nose deceive me? That divine fragrance may it be the hairiest, the tastiest, most coveted dirt in all the forest. Yes, you can have it. Be so happy! Oh, wonder of wonders, I thank thee for thine gift. Fare thee well, my friends. 
Bye. Okay, so I've completed two tasks. I'm going to go to the tree, which is up. Yeah, th they're happy music. <laughs> it makes me happy. Okay, we'll go in there in a second. I want to go take the tree. Don't worry, we'll feed you in a second. I like he's got the little leaf. He's looking like a Totoro. Look how happy he is now. Oh, wow, it's so beautiful. My feet tell me you helped them all. Because you gave them sun, water, and dirt, I was able to grow into a full tree. Thank you for your help. We all feel much better now. Here, you see, thank you. I want you to have one of my fruit. I got a silo apple. Hell yeah, we helped the tree. So pretty. Hey, go. Are you hungry? Here you go. I, I smell silo apple. Yeah, you can have it. Oh, boy. I feel so different now. It's like I have so much more. Energy. His name even changed. Oh, let him go. Uh, your friend just left. Wow, it's like Big Brother's a completely different golem when he's full. Yeah, he's just hangry. All right. Oh, a bathroom. Smash. Yeah, I'm probably the brightest grocer in here. We're talking 1,000 watts, 90 second intervals, and I can bench like five times my own weight. All right. Good for you. Ah, switch! Dink. Yes. I'm guessing that other one... Uh... Can you stop, keyboard? That was by the, the rocks is the other switch. I was right. Uh -huh. Guess that pig finally gave the rocks blocking our door. Someone needs to tell those golems to go rough house somewhere else. Um, we're so good. The lake has been drained. Great job. Yes. Thanks, Mom. I kind of want to go check the store. Since I've smushed all the bathrooms that I know of. I've been everywhere. Oh, what happens to me? You just trap loose, thinking we're better than everyone. What's up? Is your store not open yet? Yes. Wait. God oh, damn it. Nope, it's not over. Damn it. All right, fine. I'm leaving you then. Dido. I tell you what we're doing. We're getting sleepy. It's all dried up. We did it. Hello. You drained the lake. Please bring me my tools and I'll clear that bamboo for you. Sick. You couldn't have just walked over and do it? That's fine. Yes. Can't walk across those. I got the tools. Get that. 
that looks like another shiny. Come on, keyboard. My keyboard is horrible input lag today. I found more money. Yes. I'm gonna have to get a coffee for the old grumpy man at some point. Here you go. Oh, my wonderful tools. Thank you so much. Now, as promised, I'll clear you a path to Morizor's cave. Grove, whatever. Thanks. Can you go clear all the bamboo everywhere? There you go. Well, I'd be better get back to my shop. Thanks for everything. Oh, one more thing. If you visit my shop, I can build you some tools of your own. Sweet. We probably need those in the other world. It's going to take me a little time to get up and running again, though. So why don't you come back? Come by once you're done talking to Morizora. Really? I'm talking to him already? Hopefully I'll be ready by then. Good luck. Bye, friend. Ooh. No music. I'd recommend against going down this path for the time being. There are far too many on vibe around this part. That's why there's no music? Ugh. Looking like some Alice in Wonderland shit. Look at him! It's a big weird owl Totoro. It looks like we have visitors. Hmm, yes, yes, quite. I do not recognize the hand at all. I don't think they're from Boys or is Forced. Hmm. A chance. Definitely not from around here. Definitely not. <laughs> It's been many years since we've had visitors such as these. Oh, they're helper. Okay. Now I feel bad for I gave them a dumb voice because they're all pretty. I thought they were bad people. Damn it! I want to change their voice. I'm changing their voice. Oh, wait. I'm going to change their voice to... We're going to make a magical. Something... No, 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 undo. Undo, undo. This is the title music! We're gonna just chill here for a hot minute because I love this music. Oh, I love her music. It's so good. All right, how's this? How's this? Uh, yeah, we gotta make him a little um, magical sounding. There we go. Tell me, young boy, what brings you to the Gate Creeper or the Keeper's Grove? I want to ask Morris Homer if he'd grant me a wish. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm sorry, but Morizora has been sleeping for a while now. Oh. Uh, do you know when he's gonna wake up? My boy. This is not an ordinary slumber. A darkness has fallen over Morizora's lands, and over him as well. A darkness? You see, we have long shared this world with the Envoy. They are spirits between this realm and the next. Typically peaceful, merely passing through. However, lately, more and more have become overrun with negative energy. Anger, fear, hatred, the whole forest can feel it. 
If Morizora sleeps and darkness subs subsumes these lands, we are all in danger. This is terrible. We have to do something. Let me try to wake him up for you. <laughs> My boy, Morizora cannot be awoken by just any means. When darkness has caused him to fall into a slumber, the only thing that can awaken him is a very special song. A song that we call Mori no Kokoro. Is that what's playing right now? Can you teach it to me? Oh, wait, that's me. Can you teach it to me? No, my child. I cannot. But that's not to say that you can't learn it. There. I like their art. When you can hear things that are too quiet for the ears. The fear and longing. The hopes and dreams of those around you. Then you can wake him. I'm sorry. Wrong voice. I'm sorry, but, but I don't understand. Look around us. You see the stones with different markings. Yeah? Each one represents a voice that is calling out for your help right now. A man whose connection with his wife has been severed. A woman who prepares to lose that which is the most dear to her. Seek them out, along with the rest who call out to you. If you help them, they will teach you what you seek to learn. Okay, so we know where one of them is. See that one over there? Yeah. Shh. Listen. I forgot his voice. My wife's been asleep for months now. Something tells me that's a good place to start. Good luck, young one. Return to us if you need any help. So I just go in here then? Do I just leave now? Oh man, it's gonna take forever to come all the way back here though. Okay, so I haven't... Did I find his form in this world? Or do I need to go back to the uh, hospital? Hey guys! Oops. Hey guys, don't forget to come by my shop. I'll make you an axe. Oh, that's probably how I break the bamboo. Sick. Oh yeah, let's go do that. Give me them presents. make it for me all right is that sign gone now no did you back again you don't have to worry about us anymore and where is that I forgot his voice already we just went through Morizori's cave. We even got the blacksmith's tools back for him after they were stolen by angry spirits. Oh, really? Well, why didn't you say so? Guess you two can handle yourselves after all. You're free to pass. I'd be careful. Fuel on your funeral pyre. Phoenix Gorilla. Yo, I love your name. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the raid. 
How you doing? What were you playing? We're just playing some Raku in here. And doggies, boop. If you guys don't know me, I'm a Variety Gamer. My name is Vasif. This house seal is Jada. The brown baked potato over there. That's Mamas. They're the real stars of this show. But I appreciate the raid. What were you playing? I'm interessante. Oh, that must be the stones I need. Oh, okay, this is not a horrible fetch. I mean, it's a fetch quest, but it's not as nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Look at this tree. <gasps> you guys think that's an angry onion? Hello. It's a mild onion. <laughs> Boopa snoots. Boop. Boop. Got him. Got the snoot boopies. <laughs> you got a boogie. There you go. Fixed. Fixed. You're playing Portal because Koopa wants to see. Ah! Portal is great. Are you playing Portal 1 then? Portal 1 is fantastic, man. I love that game. Have you ever heard the stereotype that onions smell bad? Well, let me tell you, it's not true. Sure, I might have a few cousins who only shower once a month and their trash cans are overflowing with fast food wrappers, but they're the exception. <laughs> For the most part, we smell rather nice. <laughs> Just played through all of Portal 1. We'll play Portal 2 soon. Nice. Have you uh, have you ever played through Portal? Uh, before, obviously, tonight. More stone for me. More logs for me. Those logs kind of look like they're just part of the background. Not something you can pick up. It's the owl. Hi, I'm a mini my, I'm a mini boy. There are many of us and we all have a number attached to our name. Do you know what the numbers stand for? It's the order in which we came into this world. That's interesting. <laughs> that plant right up th there looks like I can harvest something. It sticks out a bit. You love the games? Nice. Yeah, they're... Oh! I can get stuff from those bushes. That's some of the best dark humor in a game I've ever played. And it's not even that dark. Like, <laughs> it's mild dark and it's great. How do y'all end? Rude. Just trying to make friends here, Onion Man. I gotta go see if I can loot this plant. Nope. But I'm gonna loot this plant. I don't know what these berries are for, but I have them. Yes! GLaDOS. Oh, man. I, uh, one of my first phones that I had, I made a custom skin of GLaDOS and stuff. And then I made all my, my ringtones and sound effects be from Portal. I went hard nerd. It was great. Have you ever heard the song, The Device Has Been Modified? It's a, a fan-made portal song. It's really good. If you like electronica music. We got a bud boy. The labels use the area south of here for the Star Night Festival. They get crazy. But you know what's really crazy? Being a slave to your own possessions. You know? You know what I'm saying? It's overwhelming. That's why I decided to get rid of all my stuff. Except for my garden. I love my garden. It brings me joy. So if you're thinking it feels bad taking what is in this guy's box, he's standing right there. Don't feel bad. That's hilarious. I don't even need it anymore. You know? It's tough at first, letting go of all your possessions. But once you do, it's sweet, sweet freedom. I'm totally gonna take what's in your box. I got money! I got a lot of money. I like doubled my freaking money bank. This guy's probably not gonna let me pass. Sorry, the festival grounds are closed until we get everything set up. That's fine, I need to go make my axe anyway. As part of the required test protocol, stop enhancing the truth. In yes! Oh my god. There, there are so many good lines from that that game. I remember I, I bought the orange box when the day it came out. 
and that was the first one I played because I remember when there was like the uh the idea demo of the play and I got it and I beat it all in one session and I immediately went and told my friends because they were more excited about excited about Half-Life 2 and I was like you guys gotta stop and go play Portal right now you can beat it in like three hours I said, like, no, 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 no stop and go beat Portal right now you'll blow your mind oh no I took his berries Taking my berries. Sorry. All right, let's go get my axe. Oh, there's a sleepy one up there. Ah, so you found the materials for your axe. One moment, please. I can see all the glass songs. Same. I like the one from Portal 2. Uh, I won't say it in case uh, Kubo's in chat. I don't want to spoil it for anyone. I just love that Portal is a physics engine showcase and test environment for Half-Life 2, right? And Valve was like, crap, we need another game for the orange box. Put that test in. Well, the crazy thing is, like, it was a... It was a college team's, like, idea. And then Valve was like, that's fucking brilliant. And then they, they essentially bought it. And made it a Valve game. I hope you enjoy your new axe! I already received an axe. It works great on bamboo and other types of wood. In fact, why don't you go test it out on that door up there? Chop it down! Feel free to take what you find inside. Well, why do, why do you have a boarded up door in your hut? Why not? <laughs> that's, that's their way around to having an explanation. Why not? Chop, chop, chop. Heck yeah. <gasps> Presents. I found a cat's eye marble. Ah, marble. We got a marble for Sue. All right. Am I supposed to go back to, um, I'm going to chop the heck out of these and get my presents. When are we supposed to go back to the hospital? Oh, money. Yes. Give me that sweet muns. Can I get these big berry looking things? No. I'm gonna go take these berries though. It doesn't put anything in my inventory when I do that, but I'm still gonna try it. Oh yeah, I came down here and literally nothing you can do. Oh! I go this way? No. Can I talk to the sleepy one? Oh yeah, we already did that. Nothing happened. All right, we did that. You drew me. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, uh, like on like, instant paper? Are you an artist, Citri? Because I've, I've always been envious of people that can just pick up a pad and just start drawing. It's super cool. Oh, you drew a picture if you want pop it in the art channel in discord love to see it <gasps> it's sue i'm sad where has my friend gone i can't sleep until i find her oh it's sad oh you posted it sick i look forward to checking it out i usually check out the discord stuff after stream I can't jump. Oh. Sue! Oh. Hi. What are you doing? I'm trying to remember where I was supposed to meet my friend. I have to find her. She needs me. Tell me about your friend. Oh. She's the best. 
She was the only one who would listen to me. She was such a good listener. I could tell her all my secrets because I knew she'd never tell anyone else. And she loved me no matter what. Even though I was poor and didn't have a cool toys or games. Even though I didn't have any other friends. She still loved me. It's getting sad already. What kind of stuff did you do? Oh, we had so many adventures together. And we played a lot of games too. Ones I didn't get to play before. My dad promised he would play catch with me, but... He left when we never got to do that together. But my friend loved playing catch. So we'd go to the park and play catch until the sun went down. How do I get over there? Shit. How do I get over there? She jumped. I can't. Mom! How are you, Mom? Sometimes the plants in our yard don't realize it's winter, so I try to let them know by picking off their leaves. That's adorable. Um... I need a hint. Hmm... Maybe we should go back to the hospital and see what's going on over there. There, there it goes. Okay, so I do need to go back to the hospital. The door of the hospital is inside the village inn, if I remember correctly. Okay, cool. Well... We found Sue in this world. I don't know where Winston is still. It's like the shape of Faye's nose and it fits nice into a character design, so I linked in his whole face. <laughs> nice! I look forward to seeing it. You guys ready to go back to the hospital? Let's see what we got going on here. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Oh, it's so creepy here. That one was with the lights on? Ugh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yes! Isn't anyone gonna be suspicious that I have an axe? I got another marble and money. Sick. We got two marbles for Sue. I kind of want to go give Sue her marbles before we're done. Ah, Sue has lost her marbles. I'm going to be so heckin' rich. Was there anything over here? I don't remember. Might as well check. Oh, this just has a key. Yeah, I remember that. Let's push me night here. Lurk away, Peanut. Thank you so much for the raid, my dude. I'll, I should be actually ending right here as well, but I kind of want to go give this girl her marbles real quick. But thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate you. You found 25G. Heck yeah. I'm so very sorry about this, Winston. I just can't believe someone would do something like this. Stealing a wedding band from a comatose woman. Oh, boy. These are indeed desperate times. We will do all we can to try and find who stole this from her. Thank you for your help, Doctor. I understand how busy everyone must be right now, but that means a lot. Of course. And if... You could spare some extra blankets, it would be very much appreciated. I know they've boarded up the ho hole inside the bathroom wall, but there's still a very chilling wind coming through. There's a hole in the bathroom wall. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry about that, Winston. We'll send over some supplies. Thank you. I'll come by later to check on Gemma. In the meantime, please take care. Huh? All right. I'll go check on him in a minute, but I'm going to go give her the marbles. So why are you in an abandoned hospital? It's not abandoned, it's just... It's really janky. It's like, falling apart and... It's just weird. Oh, Gemma. 
I'm sorry about all of this. Poor Winston. Oh. What is it, Mom? While we're here, you think Sue might like the cat's eye marble we got from Jackie? Good idea, Mom. That's exactly why I came here. I think she would. <gasps> There's something under my keyboard. Hold on. And it keeps like sticking out in my mind, or not in my mind, but in the corner of my eye. So I have to get it out. I don't know even you know what that is. There, it's gone. Ow! Pinched my finger in my drawer. Hey, Sue. Oh, hey. You came back. It's good to see you again. What's new? Did you hear? Somebody stole Gemma's wedding ring. Gemma? Oh, Gemma is Winston's wife. I share a room with her. Isn't that awful, though? I mean, who would steal something like that from a woman in a coma? I'm beginning to think that Thief isn't a very nice person after all. I brought you something. You bought me something. Isn't it? It isn't much, but I remember that you collect marbles. Dogs living in there too? Oh yes. People are always saying that cats and dogs can't get along. But that's just not true. People always think that if you're different, then it means you're bad. And then they treat you differently. Like if you don't look the same, or if you don't have money anymore. Even if it's not your fault, they treat you bad because you're different from them. I know what you mean. But Cat Planet is different. The cats and dogs get along just fine. In fact, there's a bakery here that's run by cats and dogs. The cats and dogs make the food together? Yeah. It's really good, too. They have pink donuts and coconut bread. I love coconut bread. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure. Why do you keep snooping around our bathroom? I did once. Is there something cool in there? Can you, can you keep a secret? I won't tell anyone. I think there might be a door down there. A special door. Where does it lead? To a place called Morizora's Forest. I'm trying to get wake up the guardian of the forest so he'll get grant me a wish. So you have a secret world too? I do! Hmm. All the shift leaders in the bathroom right now. So you might not be able to look around for your door. Unless... Here, give her one of these. She gave me a... I got, she gave me another peanut choo-choo. Thanks, Sue. Oh, wait. Thanks, Sue. She loves these. Good luck. I love her. She's adorable. Uh, no. My character is sick. We don't know why he's sick. But he can't leave the hospital. I brought you something. Boy, bug. Yes. You found the topsy turvy treehouse treehouse. Whoa, treehouse tea house. Treehouse. Tea house. Yes, that's right. This marble is the color of amber because it's actually a present from a special tree. Inside the tree, there's a room where flower creatures serve you the most delicious tea ever. That's creepy, because tea is made from plant. But that's not even the craziest part. The, tree the tea room is upside down! Upside down? Yeah! You can walk on the ceiling, you can drink tea upside down, and it doesn't fall out of the cup. Oh! One of my favorite things to do is drink tea with a good friend. 
My friend didn't really drink tea, but we still did all kinds of stuff together. I used to meet her by this tree and we'd play for hours. Sometimes she didn't have enough food, so I'd share my lunches with her. But we always had a good time. Thanks for reminding me of the good times. Do I actually have something? Do I still have another marble? I'll have to do that in a second. Tell me how folks here. Oh, wait. I already did that. Okay, I didn't bring anything to give. I don't even know how to save my game right now. How do I save? I can just save like this. Oh, look, almost perfect three hours. Hold on, we're gonna do it. Oh, am I all right? Did I pitch? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you for checking. Just shut the door on my finger. Save. Aha. Cool. All right. This, I believe. Oh, you know what? This is gonna act weird. Yeah, because this is its own whole own game thing. Because I had it. I had to just do weird stuff to get that game to work properly. So unfortunately, that's just uh, how we're not gonna get the cool outro thing going on there. But um, that's just gonna be how it do. Um, anyway. Um, I think this is where we're going to end. Let's see if we have any friends online. Maybe we can go spread some love. Um, yeah, let's go do that. Might have some friends online. If not, we'll just call it. But if you guys stick around for the raid, you guys know how this works. Get your raid messages out and ready. If you get your, if uh, we go find a raid, then, uh, you get them sweet, sweet channel points for being a part of it. Let's see, who do we got? Carl is playing Valheim. Do we have anyone else playing anything? Kate is playing... Oh, we raided Kate yesterday. Yeah, let's go send Carl some love. We haven't raided him in a bit. He's a cool dude. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, let's go give him some love. Carl Sagan's cat. You'll hear me call him Dispute all the time. Uh, because... That's what his original name was, but he recently changed it. So uh, be sure to follow along here. Let's go give him some love. Spam those raid messages, and I'll catch you guys over there. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys had fun. If you guys did, remember to spay, neuter your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm invasive. This itchy one here is a jade. His mom is acting like she's sleeping over there. We're going to go get them some foods. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya!